Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Hope everybody's doing well as usual. If you are new, my name is Nikki and here I just talk about all things nail polish. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing polishes that I wish I had in my collection that I missed out on. Uh, in my collection of almost 700. You guys, I cannot believe I have almost a thousand polishes in my collection. You know, I could even, I could just be miscounting because there's some polishes I've actually forgotten about. But, um, these are ones that I'm still looking for, so I guess they are a part of my lemmings list. So, let's just get into these picks. So the first two are from China Glaze, and the first one, I actually don't know when it came out. I saw it on this, uh, Swatcher's, uh, page that I used to follow, which doesn't, uh, upload too much anymore. This is Dripping Wet. I don't know what it is about this color, but it's one that i don't have in my collection it's this juicy burgundy cherry red and it really does look like it'd be dripping off your nails because of that glassy um jelly finish it has to it like i said i'm not sure when this polish came out but when i saw it i was like oh i want a color like that it's totally halloween fall vibes kind of reminds me of a vampire a little bit um the name is pretty cool too <laughs> i think it fits the polish pretty well but yeah, if you guys have heard of this polish, um, let me know because I don't think a lot of people have heard about it. But yeah, that is definitely what I want in my collection. Second one up from China Glaze came out in their uh, Nautical Spring Collection, uh, which came out in spring 2011, so quite a while now. This is Sea Spray. I especially love this collection because it was themed um, all nautical, like I mentioned. And I don't know why, but I like being by the ocean, like beaches, swimming, things like that. And I feel like that's why I really wanted this one. It's like a pale, frosty blue, and it has this subtle silver shimmer in it. Um, I think I mostly want it because I do want to complete that entire collection just based off the theme. The only ones I don't have are... Uh, sun no nope, I have that one now <laughs> um, I don't have sea spray and I don't have below deck but the only reason I don't have below deck is because those darker polishes don't kind of wash me out a little bit and don't uh, really give me that mm, I'm looking for in every manicure so yeah sea spray is definitely one I see that it's available sometimes but it's on eBay and it's going for um, a crazy price and there is a limit to how much I will pay for a nail polish but that was the second one from China Glaze. Next three are from PPU. You guys, I cannot believe I'm already having FOMO from PPU and I only started purchasing in November of 2020. So that is not long to have FOMO. Um, but you know, I restrict myself, um, but I wish I didn't with these three. So the first one is, um, actually the first one was not really my fault because I didn't really know, <laughs> not there's any blame to there's any blame to play. The first one came out when uh, PPU was not on my radar. Uh, the theme I found out was for Flora and Fauna, and this is Polish for Days, Seeing is Believing. I don't have a lot of uh, red jelly pinks in my collection, so this one I really wish that I could still get my hands on, hopefully in Deestash, but it's super popular. Everyone really loves this polish. It came back for Rewind that same year. Um, so it was obviously very popular, but I feel like this time rewind, which is not for another six months, um, Jackie Lantern will probably be coming back, but she does bring back two. So if you guys can just help your girl out if you're in the Facebook group, definitely vote. If that's an option, definitely vote that one back because I would really love to get my hands on it. The second one up is from March 2021. This is Cuticula's Dreams Take Flight. You guys, I was on a no buy this month and that's why I missed out on this one, but it was inspired by a butterfly. It's beautiful. It's definitely that, it looks like, it, I wouldn't classify it as a mermaid polish because it doesn't really have those elements to it, but it does have that pond effect, which brings like a kind of like watery element to it, I guess. But I love the deep uh, navy jelly base. I love the different variations of the yellow micro glitters, the circle micro glitters in there. It's beautiful. It builds up in three coats. Um, I saw it and I was like, oh goodness, like, why didn't I get it? Because I was on a no-buy, but if Cuticula does bring, it almost, it almost actually came back for Rewind last year, but, um, another polish beat it, um, just one ahead of it, but, uh, yeah, I would really love my, uh, chance to get my hands on this one because it is outstanding and super unique to anyone's collection. And third and last one from PPU is from August 2021, uh, that that month was themed all the elements, so earth, water, wind, and fire, and this polish was based off the earth element. This is Graceful Polish's Beauty of Nature. You guys, you guys, 
I love mermaid polishes and when I saw this watch I wanted it but for some reason I forgot about it that month I don't know what happened I think I maybe forgot to put it in my wish list I don't even know but it literally just and when I remembered it it just sold out when I was hoping the maker would add more product but she didn't uh limited surprise pro supplies probably but yeah this one is definitely mermaid vibes it's very pond those blue big flakies in there it is beautiful and it this one uh graceful polish doesn't always participate in polish pickup but when she does her um offerings are quite beautiful so i'm really hoping that it does come back for rewind and i'm excited to see what else she has to offer this year so that was beauty of nature the last two are from Mainstream, and one of them is Essie. This is Sweater Weather. This reminds me of the perfect uh, reptilian um, purse with that gold um, nuance to it. This polish sold out like that, and then all of a sudden it just got discontinued like, like that. And I actually bought two from that collection. I believe this was their fall 2019 collection, 2018 or 2019, but... Yeah, it's beautiful. It's definitely that sweater weather vibe. This is one of the greens that I wanted in my collection. Since it came out, I just didn't buy it right away. Don't ask me why. But um, I'm having regrets now. So um, I'm definitely looking for that one. Nail Polish Canada and Beyond Polish do sometimes bring back polishes randomly. And I did sign up to be notified if it ever did. But, you know, um, that is definitely one that I would really like in my collection. And the last one is one I just want for the history aspect. <laughs> this is Mrs. O'Leary's Barbecue from OPI. So um, if you guys are familiar with this story, um, it's alleged uh, that Mrs. O'Leary's cow uh, started the fire in the, bomb that, in the barn that started the Great Chicago Fire. Um, I really just want it for, I guess, the name and just the name is um, not everybody's happy about the name. And I've already mentioned that I'm a little skeptical about buying names that are a bit off. But I don't know. I just found this one interesting for um, <laughs> for the for the polish aspect, the history aspect as well. But, you know, I just thought it was quirky and it's obviously terrible what happened. But um, I just like the name. I just thought the reference was a little, you know, interesting. But yes, it's basically just a dark cream. This actually did come out. Uh, OPI did release some polishes from their vault. And this is polishes that um, were super popular back in the day. And that came back for a limited time release. So their infinite shine finish. So this one did come back. But I missed it. And that's okay. I really just wanted for the history after this. Nothing that I would wear too much but you know as collectors we collect things for interesting reasons so that's mine <laughs> anyways guys those are all the polishes that i'm currently seeking in my collection not too bad but these will definitely all come with polish stories if i ever find them thank you so much for watching let me know about your sought afters in the comments below and i will see you guys in my next video take care